Hey there guys, Tess here. Today I thought I would do something a little different for me. Uh, usually I tend to do whisper rambles here or there on Wednesdays, but I just thought I would do something kind of laid back. Uh, I don't know, I don't really feel like spring right now, so uh, we're gonna go with soft-spoken. A nice long soft-spoken ramble video for you guys. So, uh, lately I've been thinking a lot about, uh, you know, goals that I have for my life and things that I'd like to accomplish, sort of a bucket list type style. I don't know why. It's just been like lately that I've really been focused on, you know, what it is like, what, what do I want to do with my life? You know, that kind of thinking. Uh, but yeah, I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I jotted down a quick little list here. Um, and I'm going to try to speak about these in a order of sort of simple to more complicated. I just thought of another one, actually. Let me write this one down real quick. start with uh, one that's a little bit more uh, silly, I guess. So, well, this is just something that's on my bucket list and it's not really there for any particular reason other than my own personal amusement, but uh, <laughs> so uh, I have on here cut all my hair off, <laughs> uh, which is just something, I guess, that I've always kind of wanted to do since I was really little. And I mean, cut basically all of it off, like, so there's only, like, a few inches at most of hair left. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of reasoning for this one. Uh, again, it's just sort of one of those things that I just want to do at some point. I want to have the confidence, I guess. Um, yeah, I would say it's confidence related, but I want to have the confidence to just, you know, go for it, cut it all off, be done with it. I am not my hair, <laughs> type thing. And I would totally grow it out for a while before I did that, uh, just so I could donate my hair to, like, locks of love or something. Uh, so someone's benefiting from my random bucket list crossing off of stuff. Um, so moving on from, so moving on from that, uh, I also have play piano on here. So, uh, I'm actually working on this one right now. A friend of mine took piano lessons pretty much the entire time she was growing up, so She's slowly teaching me piano, but when I say play piano, I mean be able to play it adequately. Like, if I looked at a piece of music, I'd be able to play it for you, at least decently. So yeah, working on that one, I've only had one lesson with her so far, but well, I think progress was made. I definitely learned a lot in just one lesson, so feel pretty good about that. Okay, um, let me just kind of check these off as we go. So I know which ones I've already talked about, in case I forget. I have a probably like a dozen things on here right now. So, I 
have live in a city. Um, it doesn't have to be like a super super huge city, but I just like to live in a city. I don't think I would want to live there my entire life just because of other things on my list that I'll get to later, but I want to live there for like a year and just sort of experience it. Uh, and who knows, I might end up really liking it or really hating it and I might want to stay shorter or longer, but that's just one of those things, I guess, that I think would be a, a life experience. I don't really have much to say on that. I, I guess growing up I sort of always resented uh, living in like a small town. I didn't live uh, out in the country or anything, but I've always lived in a very, very, very small town and I've lived in the same place my entire life so far. So I have that urge to branch out and go on an adventure. Anytime I get to go to the city is always always time that I'm really thankful for because I do enjoy visiting. Again, I'm living there is a totally different experience, I'm sure, but just being there is always something that I've really enjoyed. Uh, to go along with that, uh, my next thing on the list is travel to many different countries. So that sort of gets along with my wanting to branch out, uh, but I want to just, I want to see things, I want to see the world, which is a very young, ambitious person thing to say, but, uh, I love traveling, I always have, going places and seeing things, and, I don't know, just exploring what the world has to offer. And I'd really like to go to other countries uh, for um, the purposes of photography too, I think. Uh, I'd love taking photos to capture a moment of beauty in the world is it's pretty amazing, I think. And there's so many beautiful things out there to discover and to photograph, and that's sort of one of my hobbies more than anything. And I don't do it very often, usually only when I'm traveling, for the most part. Oh, um, but I do. I do have Instagram, and I try to take some pictures here and there that are tasteful, I guess. Uh, so, I also have on here get a college degree. So, uh, some of you may know if you've been with me long enough that I have gone to college um, for a short period of time, uh, like a year and a half-ish, and I just didn't like what I was studying, I didn't like the college itself, it was expensive, I felt like I was wasting my time with that specific place and specific major, so I uh, have been taking some time off. I've been off for uh, almost a year now, and sort of sorting out what I want to major in when I go back, and what I want to really do with my life, which is, again, what I've been thinking about a lot lately. And also, like, what school I want to go back to, and uh, I've actually just recently applied to a potential college that I would like to start uh, come summertime, which is not this upcoming semester period for my area, but uh, the one after that. And you might be thinking, summer, that's a crazy time to start school. Who starts school in the summer? I mean, I've already started, I just, I'm not quite ready to go back 
this upcoming semester, but I think and I don't want to wait like an entire year to come back or to get back at it the following fall uh, because that just seems like a very long time and um, I'm hoping to actually move closer to the college that I am potentially going to um, next year but and I would like to move prior to actually going there and the hope is that I'll be moved in by about May so that would place me closer to school and the commute would be less of a hassle because right now I'm living about 50 minutes away uh, from my potential school and I'd be much much closer if I moved so I'd rather not make that commute every day so yeah, get a college degree and uh, to kind of go along with that it could be related it may not be related um but i'd like to teach a class so uh currently i well when i applied to this potential school i put down my major as undecided education uh, so i would like to teach i think that's sort of more the route that i want to go with my life currently but uh, i also work for a specific type of company right now and i really like it so i may not go down that path but to move up in the company you have to have a college degree of some sort regardless so I figured i'd kill two birds with one stone and get a college degree and also sort of have a backup plan in case i don't uh decide to continue on with this company in particular but you know I, even if i didn't um become a teacher specifically i would like to teach a class of some sort even if it was just like a community art class um for adults or something or even a cooking class i'm uh I've done like a lot of things with food recently, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think a cooking class would be cool too if I did my own studying of it. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, like anything in general that I know how to do, teaching a class would be cool. So, um, let's see here, what one do I want to talk about next? So, uh, buy my own home. That's something that I feel like most people probably want to do. Maybe not, but uh, it's definitely something that I want to be able to do. I feel like, oh, this will be much later in my life um, when I can finally afford to do such a thing, but I really want to be able to make a home purchase and make a place that is truly mine and clean and nice and I don't know, home, you know? Because I feel like all these other things are going to happen, well, all these other things on my list will probably happen prior to this one because it's so big and so such a such an investment, I would say. Uh, I also have on here Get Married, which again, I would say at least half of the population probably have this on their bucket list if they've made one. I'm not every, like, I apologize for the train. This happens every time. Um, I I know there are people out there that don't um, believe in marriage or what have you. Um, they just choose not to get married. Uh, maybe they just haven't found the right person, you know, and anything. And I'm not judging those who are not or will not get married. 
Um, that's just something that I would like, um, especially because I spent, you know, a chunk of time uh, once I knew that I wasn't entirely straight, uh, and was rather bisexual and interested in not only men but also women, and knowing that I really didn't have the option living in the United States, uh, that if I were to fall in love with a woman that I couldn't marry her, which for me was kind of really weird, I think that would be the best way to describe it, because to me it just didn't make sense, like, okay, well, I have the potential to fall in love with a guy and I have the potential to fall in love with a girl, but what my country was saying to me was that I only had the potential to marry a guy and I did not have the potential to marry a girl, depending upon which I fell in love with, and... So for me, that makes marriage really uh, a privilege, I guess. It shouldn't be a privilege, it should just be something that people can do if they so choose, but it's not always the case. And I won't get into politics or anything, uh, but I'm hoping I get to keep that option once I actually get to the point where I am engaged to someone, whether that be a guy or a girl, but I hope that I still have the potential there to choose my own path of marriage. So, yeah. Um, so now we get on to the last two on my list, which, uh, is something that I've just recently come to the conclusion of. So I really, really, uh, have decided that I, this is one of the big ones on my list. This is something that I absolutely positively want to accomplish, like, uh, no matter what I have to do in order to do this. Like, I will fight hard for the ability to um, be a foster parent. Uh, and I... Uh, I mean, I don't feel like I would need to be married exactly. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten to the point of looking up all of these stipulations and rules and what you have to be and what you have to do in order to be a foster parent, uh, but it's something that I really want to look into as I get older here. I'm only 20 right now, so um, not anytime soon, uh, but definitely someday. I just feel like there are a lot of foster homes out there that are um, unsatisfactory, to say the least. And like I think that I had a um, a sort of difficult childhood without the added bonus of being a foster child and being thrown from home to home. And I would just like to give a foster child a stable environment that's open-minded and creative and, I mean, potentially a permanent home, which brings me to my next bucket list thing. I would like to adopt kids, and I haven't quite figured out whether or not that means that I wouldn't want to have biological children, uh, because I might, but 
I don't really know yet. Again, I'm still pretty young, so it's not something that I have to figure out tomorrow, but I would like to adopt kids, and that's not really a, a cheap option either, but kids never are very cost efficient, <laughs> so I'm not, um, I'm not worried about that, I guess. Uh, that will come after I, I have my own home and I'm financially stable enough for, well, even any child, let alone to adopt a child, because, yeah, that can be a little pricey. But, um, my thought is that you can't really put a price on a human life. The system definitely does, but... Uh, and that sort of just goes along with the foster parent thing, and I think, you know, the, um, the whole adopting of children could potentially flow easier uh, with the fostering process. Again, I have to do a lot more extensive research on both of those topics, but this is just really one that in the last few weeks I've been thinking about a lot. Uh, so that's all I have on my written list. If I can think of any more right now, though, um, I will go ahead and spot them off. Uh, so something pretty random, I guess, uh, to go along with photography. I think I'd be super thrilled to have a photo taken by me published somewhere, whether that would be in a newspaper or in a magazine or in a book, I don't know. I think that's something I'd like to do too. A little bit of photography on the side of whatever else, whatever other work I'm doing. And sort of making this video again, not only for you guys to relax to my rambling if you're even still awake or still watching this video, but for myself as a reminder of all of my goals and dreams and things like that. I also really hope to continue this channel for many more years to come. I've been making ASMR videos for four years now, and it feels like such a huge chunk of my life. I'm 20, that's a fifth of my life. I've been making ASMR videos. That's insane. That's, to me, that's just crazy. I'd like to also, uh, sorry, I just dropped my pen <laughs> over here playing with it, but I'd like to also, um, act or do comedy at some point, whether that'd be like an open mic night or something, I don't know. But comedy is a big part of my life too. I feel like I should probably do something comedic at some point, just for fun, not for real professional use, but I guess if that happened too, who knows. Uh, the future is pretty unpredictable for me right now. I'd like to, uh, try ice skating. 
I've, I've been roller skating and I'm terrible at it, so I'm sure I'd be terrible at ice skating too, but I've never tried it and I really should. I... Hmm. I don't know. I think... Uh, I think that's probably... Oh, actually, I forgot a really big one that I didn't even write down, but this is something that I've wanted to do for years and years and years, and I've started many and never finished, but uh, I want to write a book, like a full-on, like, 300-page novel. Uh, I have a lot of ideas, and like I said, I've started and restarted and deleted and re rewritten, and but I've never gotten very far at all. Like, I've gotten the layout, the skeleton, and I've gotten, like, a chapter, and I always stop after that. But I really, really want to write a book. Really, really, really want to write a book. And I... <laughs> Everybody always tells me that I should, but I know all of my friends was like, you should write a book. I'd be interested to read what you had to say. Which I guess is a compliment. Either that or I'm so crazy that it'd be very, very, very entertaining. <laughs> Either way, as long as it's entertaining and I write and spell my words correctly. <laughs> But yeah, I'd really like, really, really, really would like to write a book someday. It wasn't completely rubbish, hopefully. Um, I think I'm probably going to end this soon. Um, oh, I... This is not really bucket list specifically related. I'd really like to get a few more tattoos. At some point in my life, I have one um, that I got. Well, about four years ago, probably about the same time. Actually, I think it was like six months before I started my ASMR channel. The original one, random video ideas from way back in the day. But I've wanted another one ever since, and actually have a few ideas now for tattoos, new tattoos. Nowhere crazy visible or anything because, again, my future is a little unpredictable, so I want to be employable. Even though I, well, I don't want to start this discussion, but I don't really understand why having tattoos makes you less employable. Regardless, uh, I would like to get a few more. And I, I think one of the main things, one of the main places I really want to travel to outside of uh, the United States is England, um, just because I've always felt sort of a connection to English things, I don't know. I watch a lot of Brit British television, so it's probably just that shining through. If I watch the TV, I must be an expert, obviously. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this discussion up. Uh, so if you've gotten this far, uh, leave in the comments below what your bucket list is if you uh, feel like sharing, and or just goals that you have, and dreams that you have, that just things that you really want to accomplish in your life, and, uh, I'd be interested to read what things other people really want to do, and maybe add to my own bucket list as well, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and leave a comment if you just want to talk to. Just say hello. I will say hello back. 
and I will talk to you guys next time.